Yer, what's good y'all? Welcome back to another Tarot Energy Forecast with me and your girl Tatiana Tarot. Babies, it is, what day is it today? Okay, so we're doing this from Monday, February 26th all the way to Sunday, March 3rd. So we are in the last week of February. If you're watching this, it's probably a little bit past the full moon in Virgo. I pray that it's teaching, treating you well. Um, but I'm so excited to get into this. If you are new, welcome, welcome. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more videos such as this. Giving you the 411 of what to expect on the week ahead energetically for all my elemental signs. So please watch this Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for your fire, earth, wind, or air signs. Um, I did change the format of these type of readings recently. And it's just really been hitting me and my spirits. I also feel like it's a little bit more easeful for me. But y'all know me. If you've been sticking with me for a while, you know that I love to switch things up. I'm a manifesting generator. So it's all about vibes with me. And so if I feel like it's a little redundant or it's not hitting the spot for me personally, I will be switching it up. So enjoy it while it lasts, y'all. Anywho, we are going to be getting into this week again. Church announcements. This is the final week to get the art of sensuality, the mini course on sale. It is usually for two hundred and twenty-two dollars. It is half off for one hundred and eleven dollars. You have seven plus modules of juicy, 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 detailed healing modalities, journal prompts, meditations, activations, so on and so forth. To help you really step into the embodiment of sensuality. What is that? The embodiment of more ease. The embodiment of your divine femininity. Whether it be in a creative, expressive, sensual, sexual, playful manner. Whether it be the manifestation of more opulence and wealth. Ease throughout any challenges that you may experience. So on and so forth. And so... We really, uh, in this mini course, we really pack and dive into the layers of um, what's holding us or keeping us from that gap of living our most sensual lives, our softest lives versus how we are living now. Um, if you are in Possessor Spirit, my online membership, an online forum for a lot of my live teachings and offerings, we are hosting on this Sunday, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are hosting a mini group container of the Art of Sensuality mini course. So it doesn't matter if you've taken it or not. You can join the group container for like a master class activation session. We will be doing some of the modalities on there. Of course, it's always more impactful with a group of people that are doing it intimately together. If not, again... Of course, you can have lifetime access to the mini course and do it throughout the duration of your life. Or, you know, whenever you want to revisit the material, if you just want to sit and do it all at once. Which I don't recommend because it's a lot to process and it is a lot of energetic shifts that you will be experiencing. Or you want to do it over time. You will have lifetime access to the art of sensuality and any future modules that I will add on to it. Because I did receive a download this uh, afternoon about a new module I want to add on to it. So um, as people who have the art of sensuality has purchased it before, um, you have access to that now and any updated modules that I have. So this is a bonus deluxe. It has new features, new modules, right? And so I definitely implore you to go grab that while it's on sale. It won't be on sale any other time of the year. We'll see if I'll be re-offering it next year. But grab it while it's hot because, you know, Pisces season is the best time of the year to be doing this type of work. Right? And Scorpio season. So let's get into it. Give me a moment, y'all, to see and feel what I think we're going to start with water signs. So, great spirit. Shout out to my Christmas tree in the background. I know, I know. <laughs> what do you need to tell the water signs? Water signs, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let me see. 
deck and pull out another deck too. I'm actually really feeling using this deck. This is the Erzeli Fueda or Love Oracle deck by Three Sisters Hoodoo. And I want to use her. I want to use her today. So let us see. Great Spirits coming out for the Water Spines. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the 411 on Water Signs? What, they, what do they need to know this week? All right. So right off the bat, we are getting the Four of Swords for you, Water Signs. Four of Swords. Um, ooh, ay, that's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot. That's a lot that just flew out. Okay. Water Signs, let's just start with one part of the time and then we tie it in together. Um, water signs, sun, moon, rising, Venus. The four of swords is um, the epitome of slowing down, the epitome of calculating things. It is a card of contemplation. It is a card of deliberate um, analysis, so to speak. It is a time to slow down internally, externally, and to place that awareness and that external focus on maybe you've been projecting and placing your awareness on other people, places, things, um, on work, on family, on your partners, on e everything but yourself. And what Spirit is saying with the Four of Swords is we need to pause. Kind of like literally click the stimulation, pause. Bring that awareness back into your body. Bring that awareness back into the energy centers in which you get information from your spirits, uh, whether it be your crown, whether it be your throat, whether it be your heart, whether it be your womb, um, and quite literally indulge in prayer. Prayer is going to help you guys a lot this week. Water signs. There are some answers that are looking to make their way towards you, and there are some answers that you are seeking. This is finalizing this week in February will be a time to receive answers, okay? Um, but you cannot receive, Spirit is saying, you cannot receive that which you do not ask for. So it wants you to take the time to slow down because maybe in the midst of hustling, bustling, doing this, handling things, you have forgotten that it is your right to ask for what you want from the benevolent spirits that want to help you, that want to provide guidance, direction, resources, and opportunities. They're almost like lingering around you, just waiting for you to get the memo that it's like, okay, we want to send this to her, but we, the, they, they have free will, and we can't just you know intervene without them asking for it, right? And so, please take up space. Take up energetic space. Take up spiritual space by asking. Even if that asking means you're writing things down in a journal and you're making a list of your desires. You're making a list of your desires in your business, in your health, in your partner, and you're asking for all the things that you want, okay? But I would even phrase it in present tense. I, um, you know, I have this, this, and this in this fashion. I am now enjoying the luxuries of X, Y, and C. My business is now generating the thing. I now have access to all of this. We want to place that in a present tense, not past tense, like you still are searching for it and you lack. We're not, we're not, uh, spirit doesn't want you to be in lack mentality. And I know this is trite. I know I kind of say this often. I know it kind of goes with the whole law of attraction shindig that is very nuanced. It's very valid, but it's very nuanced. And people don't really explain it in that way. But, yes, there wants you to place things in present tense. Like, I have. It is now mine. Claim the, the success and the rewards and the abundance and the opulence that you seek because it is, it is within you. It's not without you is what they're saying. And so, in this process of slowing down, it's almost like a remembrance of what of the stock you have inside of you. Okay? I hope I'm not losing you guys here. Remembering what's inside of you 
uh, 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 reconnecting to your inner resources, reconnecting to that vast system of information, of wisdom, of wealth. Um, and that is where your spirits will meet you. That is where your spirits will answer you. That is where your spirits will connect with you. There is a sense of disconnect. There's a sense of you wandering aimlessly. Um, and not, I don't want to say not without aim, but, uh, th there is a bit of struggle. I'm sensing a bit of struggle. I'm sensing a bit of doing things the hard way and not necessarily the easy way and trying to figure everything, uh, everything out. And the spirits are saying, you know, you need to slow down, connect with us again, ask for what it is that you want, because we will figure things out for you. And, um, if not, at least connect with yourself, with yourself within Pay attention to your inner cues because that's how we're going to give you direction. Whether that direction is to pause, whether that direction is to reach out to someone specifically, whether that direction is to pivot or go to a place, we're going to be giving that to you, but we can't necessarily access you or reach you when you are in a state of disembodiment and dis de detachment from the spirit realm, right? It's very heady. It's very heady. So they want you to use that intellectual energy, that logical energy, that uh, verbal communicate, communicative energy, but in the form of right intention, um, direct intention into the spirit realm, right? And so here, this, this person is quite literally resting and praying. And so in whatever way you can indulge, whether it's a 15 minute nap, whether it's a, a, it's a two minute prayer before bed, um, give me the answers while I sleep, um, this is what I need, or taking five, 10 minutes in your day just to daily be like, this is what I request, my request book, these are my desires. Maybe you wanna do different compartments of your life and create desire lists for different compartments of your life. But they're saying, note it down, write it down, ask for it, pray for it. And then now shift into a space of receptivity so that you are open, you are aware, you are alert of the signs and the cues and the directions and the guidance that are going to point you towards the desires that you just asked for, right? Here, water signs, you guys are getting the queen of pentacles. So this week and this season, you're stepping into a season of wealth. You're stepping into a season of abundance. There's plenty. The things that you've been working on, working towards, um, whether it's internally on an emotional standpoint, whether it's physically on a financial standpoint, um, whether it's spiritually, things are paying off. Things will pay off. You actually have plenty around you and it's just a matter of reconnecting with that reality, reconnecting with that energy and that frequency. Queen of Pentacles wants to ensure that you are taking care of yourself because you've been taking care of a lot of people. And it wants to ensure that whatever it is that you're taking care of can also take care of you. So um, whether that's people, place, things, family, lovers, partners, investments, uh, you want to make sure that whatever it is that you're investing in, starting up, pouring your time and your energy into will also be paying off in major ways not just partially but in major ways so a lot of the four of swords is asking you to reassess the moves that you've been making and don't just make them so quickly you want to make sure is this being reciprocated you know am i moving blindly out of fear out of lack or is this really calculated, intentional? Has this been sanctioned by my spirits and my elevated ancestors? Has it been sanctioned by my own or higher self? Um, do I have the green light on all accords? Queen of Pentacles, I see you guys. Um, I would say the Queen of Pentacles is like the queen of the marketplace. Um, there is no lack there. And if there's something that the queen of pentacles doesn't have, there is a resource around them that has it. So there's always access. There is always growth. There is always fertility. You are in a very fertile period. You need to be mindful of what you're doing, of who you're investing in, what hobbies, what actions you're taking, because it is going to be breeding something. Something is going to be manifesting from that. And so you want to be manifesting and, and having it pay off in dividends and having it pay off in plenty and being in a space of overflow. 
Queen of Pentacles also is an energy of rest and slow and steady wins the race. It is an earth sign, very grounded, very self-assured, very secured, very much God's got me type of energy. Um, uh, there is a lot of hard, there is, there is work involved. I wouldn't say it's hard anymore. There is a system, there is organization, there is a rhyme and a reason and a season for everything. So make sure that the actions that you are taking right now, water signs, it's the right season for that. Make sure that the people in your life are in alignment with the current season that you are personally in. You might have the the wrong people for the right season. You know, they don't match up. And it's like, okay, you served your purpose for the season that I was in prior. Now I'm entering into a new season. This contract, this, this relationship is null and void. Okay? Or it doesn't even have to be as cutthroat as that. It's just like maybe you're just taking a break. Maybe there's more boundaries with that dynamic. You're both in different seasons, okay? Um, if it is your season of wealth, if it is your season of abundance, if it is your season of opulence, you want to make sure that your actions and your personal habits, your mindset, your systems, um, your thoughts, all of that is in, occur in occurrence, in, in, in congruence with that current season. Okay, you don't want to be in a season of plenty and then still have a mindset of lack. All right, or still, uh, and this is also talking about your environment, um, respecting the things that you have, um, you know, clearing your space of anything that, you know, is outdated, belongs to an old season, um, making sure that you are using the resources that you have and it's not just sitting there, you know, because that's also currency, that's also money. If you're buying a, a, an abundance of food and you're still choosing to eat out, then you're disrespecting the food that you just bought. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of currency, right? Are you using everything? Are you being intentional? Is it in alignment with the season that you are in? Um, what Spirit is also communicating to me is that some of you may be on the road to being burnt out. Okay, a lot of this may be you need to slow down to assist the current systems that you have, whether it's burnt out in relationships, whether it's burnt out with yourself because you've been giving too much and, and too much to other people and not enough to yourself, whether it's burnt out at work. There is a system upgrade that needs to happen with the Queen of Pentacles. You've got the resources, whether it's the people, whether it's the internet, whether it's the finances, whether it's the vision, whether it's the creativity, whether it's the energy, there is resources on your end of the ring. And spirit wants you to be a, um, a clever, resourceful, creative with these resources. Okay, you might need to update your systems, um, implement more help, hire, delegate. You're supposed to be working more efficiently to gather in more. Um, and when I say abundance, it's not just finances, it's just abundant, you know, the next level of everything. I've been talking about the next level for a lot of people and you're not excluded. Water signs, and so this is the next level and everything needs to be harmonious with that. Ace of Swords is coming out. Water signs, excuse me. There's so much burping, there's so much um, energy coming through the throat chakra. So I really do feel that with the Ace of Swords, there will be things that need to be said during this week or during this Pisces season that may liberate you from an old way of doing things, um, that may liberate you from old contracts, old agreements, old systems, old dynamics that no longer work for you in this new season. You might need to speak up more. You might need to be more bold. You might need to embody your voice more, right? How many of us talk and say things, but we're not really thinking about what we're talking or saying. We're not focused on what the energy and the tone is. Um, we're not focusing on what energy sensors we're speaking from. You can speak from your womb. You can speak from your heart. You can speak from your third eye. You can speak from your crown. You can tell, as I spoke from every one of those energy sensors, how my voice changed and how the energy changed. And most of us, if not all of us, don't even focus on that sort of intentional projection and what sort of result is going to come from that intentional projection. So, 
for water signs with the ace of swords use the gift of communication whether it be verbally whether it be through your body through your hands through your movements whether it be through your energy use it intentionally to cultivate more opulence and abundance okay and if those if some of y'all got the, the energetics of opulence, this is a great time to revisit that mini course. If you guys don't have it, I will link it down below. It teaches you all about the energetics of opulence, living more in ease, taking away the limitations of, 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 of struggle and lack and living more in, in ease and abundance, right? And welcoming that in and positioning yourself to receive. A lot of us do the stripping work to get rid of these things that are blocking us, but we're not positioning ourselves to receive. Being in the energy of celebrating yourself, celebrating the opulence you already have, and really using that currency in our lives. With the Ace of Swords, there could be this week water signs, there could be new contracts, there could be new people to meet where there are um, uh, just new relationships to forge in business. Um, it's going to be a busy week, right? It's going to be a busy week. It's going to be a busy time. Water signs. And so really say what you mean, mean what you say. Um, express and exercise the ways in which you communicate. That's going to be upgrading for you. Um, if you're a person that is not accustomed to asking for what they want or communicating their needs or even saying, no, enough is enough. I'm revoking my access to you because you don't appreciate me. This is the week where you might learn to do that or you're waking up to do that. Um, and for some of you, you may have a, a, an elevated ancestor, an elevated female guide that has learned the hard way for this for themselves and and this is like you know a not so distant elevated ancestor um in your lineage that may have may have been still may have been chilled may have had so much wealth and abundance working for them and not necessarily financially but they're the type of person that um can turn anything into gold right but they've heard had to learn the hard way how to put their foot down how to revoke their access how to speak up for themselves, how to advocate for themselves. This week may be a big lesson for you, water signs in which you are doing that, you're starting to do that. And what's important is that that is intrinsically linked to your wealth. The more you open up these communication chakras, the more you are able to express yourself freely and to embrace that expression, um, to own it, to embody it, to love it, to play with the, the, the myriad of ways in which you can express yourself, the more pours in for you, okay? Queen of Pentacles is like Queen Mayas. She's, she's wealthy in all accords, right? Are you recognizing and acknowledging the wealth? Are you giving thanks for the wealth? Are you asking for more? Um, is every, does everyone have permission to your wealth or are you cutting it down? You're getting material, girl, okay? Another testament to your wealth. I think a part of your self-care is indulging in yourself, spending on yourself. And that doesn't mean you should go ahead and buy a Louis Vuitton bag. Um, if you have the means and you, if it feels elated, if it's from a space of expansion and you feel great in doing so, then do it. If you're purchasing something and you're, as you're purchasing it, you're, you're like, oh my God, oh my God, I don't know if I can pay for this next week. If you know you don't have the means to enroll in a course and you can't pay for it later on and you're just like, well, I hope I get the money next month. That means don't pay, don't pay for it. Live within your means, but also indulge within your means, okay? You don't have to spend a lot to be able to enjoy what, you know, to enjoy luxury. Luxury is what you make of it. Luxury is an energy. It is not a physical uh, thing. So material girl is saying it's time for you to be luxurious. A lot of this outdated old energy is giving, is kind of giving peasant energy. Is giving, I'm going to work hard in the fields and I'm going to make a lot of money, but I'm going to do this the old way and I'm just, I'm all dirty with dirt and I've got like wheat in my hair and it's, it's, the spirit is saying, stop. <laughs> you have to level up physically too. Um, look at your wardrobe, look at your nails, look at the way you care for yourself, okay? Art of sensuality, that's an art of sensuality. It, it, water signs is giving both, it's giving, get both. 
Um, go create a nice scrub. Go create a natural turmeric honey face mask. Um, go create a natural um, conditioner for your hair. Soak. Um, buy a nice affordable wine. It, create, you know, do a nice spiritual bath that you can soak in for a while. Um, you know, buy yourself a nice luxurious deck of cards if you like. If you like that stuff, go get. Give yourself a little, nice manicure. Something within your me or, or book a flight. Okay, book a flight. Buy that champagne. Buy that caviar. Buy that course, buy those dresses, buy everything is leveling up, go get that facial, okay, go get them fillers, right, go get them veneers, whatever it is that you want, all right, um, spirit is saying you guys have cords, codependent, there's cords to your money, there's cords to your finances, there's cords to your currency, so some of you guys are leaking energy and people are benefiting from things that you should be getting paid off for, okay? That could be in your business, that could be in your relationships, that could be, could even be children, doesn't mean that it's a bad thing, but it's time to do cord cutting, it's time to do a spiritual bath, it's time to just, even energetically, if you're doing energy work through journaling or writing, that is still as efficient as taking an energy, a spiritual bath, um, a cord cutting bath, uh, a cord cutting meditation, you're going to make a list of what you're no longer available for in your life. I'm not available for this. I no longer want to be treated like this. I'm not available for these type of people, this type of dynamic in the relationship, this kind of business, these type of clients. And then on the flip side, write what you're opening up your energy for. What are you now open up to receive? Write that down in your list of your desires. That is part of the work in preparing yourself and clearing the energy centers and opening yourself up for more opulence, more sensuality, more ease. Okay, I do see wealth, but it's almost like old archaic wealth. Spirit is saying it's a faster, easier, more seamless and effortless way to do what you're doing. You're not getting it. You need to slow down. You need to process the emotions that are getting going on. You need to assess how you're relating to people, whether or not they're pouring back into you. You need to cut the cords or speak up if necessary. You need to upgrade yourself, up-level yourself, pour more into yourself, and boom. That's for water signs. We're now pivoting to fire signs. Let's get into it. So fire signs, sun, moon, rising, Venus, your reading for this week. Fire sign, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let us see. Fire signs, great spirit. What is fire signs? I want to pull this one. I want to pull this one. I want to pull this one. Whoa! Spirit is talking about wiping the slate clean, fire signs, with some of your associations. You're not a type of person, fire signs, that you need to be knowing everybody and their mamas. You need to, add, again, the theme for this week and for this year is up-leveling. We're in the year eight. We don't want that energy, stale energy to recycle in that eight. If it's energy that is benevolent, that is uh, paying off, that is uh, deeply valuable, we want that energy to circulate. But if it's energy that's all repeated karmic patterns, lessons, same old, same old, not really making us grow and expand. We don't want that energy. And so Spirit is saying the relationships, the associations, the um, friendships, uh, even old cords to ex-lovers, that's got to go. Some of these... Some of these are toxic, some of these are just taking off energetic space for new people that are meant to be in your life. It's a new timeline, new people are entering that timeline. You are entering a new timeline with this new 
uh, year that's coming up astrologically in March. We're entering Aries season. Pisces season is the end of the astrological new year. Uh, astrological year. We're entering the astrological new year with Aries next month. And so Spirit is talking about fire signs. Mind the company that you keep. Some of these people, the contract is done with them, baby. Some of these people you just have around just to have around. It's just like, oh yeah, I talked to them once in the blue moon. And no, it's still energetic space. All right, think of yourself as an egg, an energetic egg. And think of it, think of it as like a, a gram. Uh, como se dice? I don't even know how to properly articulate this, but it is like a pie, a percentage pie. And you only have a certain amount of percentage to dedicate to your own self-care, then something for your finances, and something for your family, and your friends, and your spirituality. And, and So you want to make sure if you're sharing your pie, it is going to be paying off. Uh, in massive ways that is going to be expanding your pie, right? Some people here are just, you might not even be aware of it with the nine of, of swords. Some people you have in your energetic circle or people that you are associated with that you're not even aware, their energetic circle, the people they have in their energetic circle is grimy and dusty and crusty and is influencing you subconsciously you have to be very mindful of the company you keep. You're not entering a cycle in which you are a free for all and everyone has access to you and that's it. You're not getting you're not getting any benefit from your own energy, from your own currency. Okay? The 9 of swords is talking about um it is an energy of Helplessness. It is taking up too much mental space. Fire signs. Some of you are um, not deplugging. You're not doing your spiritual work. You're not doing your emotional work, and it is showing up in your mental health. You might be thinking too much. You might be worried. You might be excessively stressed. I'm also getting the images of, you know, body breaking down, physical acne breaking out, body pains, soreness. Um, indigestion, um, uh, uh, bad back, you know, this could also be a energetic, energetic attachments, interferences from the company that you keep, okay? You want to make sure that you're keeping high-end level people, and if you don't have that, clear what it is that you have. That doesn't mean get rid of everybody, but just mean it really assess and evaluate the company that you have. Is this someone that deeply cherishes your presence, um, that brings value, that is, is, is helping your energy expand? Do they make you contract? Are you making them contract? You know, are you even talking? If that is the case, you need to clean your phone, get them contacts out, get them unfollow, block, delete. It is a very energetic practice in real life as much as it is in the cyber realms and the astral realms. Okay? Uh, clear and cleanse your ancestral altar. Do an elevation. If you don't know what an elevation is, go Google it, go YouTube it, or go to um, uh, join my Possessor Spirit membership. Okay, but the Nine of Swords is a lot of attachment to the mental realm. And so you're going to need a healthy emotional processing system, a technique, a modality that helps you pour out all the feelings into paper or to a therapist or through some physical activity where you can reflect healthily on what's going on where are these feelings? Like, I'm feeling my feelings, that's great. But now where are they stemming from? What is it trying to tell me? You know, why does it occur? You know, and really be able to process that. And I feel like some of that may come from the people that you are around. All right? And so with the death card here, I do see some changes in the dynamics of your relationships. Fire signs. You're getting ready to make space for quality people. You're getting ready to make space for quality um, 
and it might not just be quality people, but it might be an upgrade in the the current level of your relationship. So if you feel like a relationship has gone stale and you've been trying or the other person's been trying, well, it's okay. Take a break from that because it could be that this, this dynamic needs some space and focus on your own up-leveling, focus on your own well-being. And you will just automatically update the person through your presence of your own energetic field. They, if they are meant to upgrade themselves with you, they will through the presence of your field because you've been doing the work. You don't have to try to manipulate, control, nag, be someone's mom. The more you focus on yourself, people around you will feel it and they will be inspired to do the same and up level themselves. It's like meta updating. It's like a psychic updating their system. And if they don't do it, they might not. It might not be the season for them to do it. It might not be what they want to do. And so you need to make uh, executive decisions from that, right? The death card is let the old be the old because we need to clear the the space for the new, right? Death to the old, give birth to the new, right? It's a very transformative scorpionic energy, and so. I think you're going to be very keen on what's causing you headaches, what's causing you grief, what's causing you stress, what's causing you these physical ailments that are not helping you. You're going to be aware on maybe the energetic root causes of these things or the people that elicit certain reactions or feelings and emotions that are not beneficial. And even if they're not beneficial, they're still teaching you something. So get the lesson and then make a decision on the dynamic of that relationship. If you want to still let that person in your life, or even if you have no control over it and you still have to have that person in your life, you're going to decide as to how to change your interaction with them or how to change your perception of them so that they're not stealing or, or give, give your, you you're not giving your energy so much to them as you once were, right? Fire signs. Um, here's the three of pentacles. That is the card of networking, of collaboration, of um, associating with other individuals, relationships of all kind, um, the desire to grow, the desire to build. And I think this is a building stage for you. A lot of the fire signs are in a building stage for the duration of the year. Now, the building stage cannot be commenced without an analyzing the foundation. You need to analyze the building's plans, the plans, right? The blueprint. You need to assess, is this working? Is this not working? Before I lay the first brick down, how's the land? Is the land stable enough for me to hold the first brick down, right? And so... Um, where you're going in this next chapter of your life is very pivotal, it's very important. You want to be looking for long-term people that are there down for the ride or down for the cause or in alignment. They might not be doing the same thing as you, but they're, they're also looking to grow. They're also looking to expand. They're also looking to get value from the people around them. They're also looking to be supported. They're also, they also deeply value reciprocity and grace and understanding and empathy and love um, and, and, and harmony, you know? Um, they're not leeches. And some of the people you have in your corner are abusive. And this doesn't necessarily mean that they're physically abusive, but maybe they're energetically abusive or they're projecting their own shame, their guilt, their trauma, their, their yeah, their um, limitations onto you and you're just so susceptible, you're so open, you're so um, not aware that you're picking that up and it's causing physical manifestations of illness or discord and mental discord in you, okay? So it's almost like spirit wants you to be a cat lady and cat ladies have this, this bad rep for almost like being unapproachable or taboo but I really do feel like cats have this sixth sense of being able to immediately tell if someone has good vibes or not if someone is a lot in alignment with their energy or not and actually I just read in some sort of mini uh, meme uh, a post that cats have that sort of sense um, not just nasally but they can sense your energy through their booty hole and through other 
factors on their bodies. I think the top of their ears, the back of the neck, the booty hole around there, other, the, obviously the nose. And so they have a myriad of points in their body in which they can read energy. And so someone was saying, cats are rubbing up on you or they have the booty hole to you. It's not necessarily a F you. It's more like they're sensing and they're reading your energy. That's how they're like literally picking up your energy and how, that's how it's being filtrated and that's how they're reading it. And so what Spirit is saying here is you need to get a cleansing. I would do an egg Olympia. Again, that's in my possessor spirit or you can Google it. Um, or cleansing of your ancestral altar. You may have some unelevated uh, spirits attached to you some unelevated people in your life okay people who are not going down the same road but are influencing you in ways that you don't need to be influenced that way um you need you might need to prioritize yourself in a way that you need to close the doors to other people right now because you need to focus on your health you need to focus on processing what's going on emotionally fire signs you need to make executive decisions with the people you currently have in your life right uh, and so Cat Lady is saying that you're going to actually be more sensitive. You're going to be more keen to what's wrong and what's right. And you're going to need to make decisions based off of that. Uh, um, so that's what we're getting for fire signs. We're going to do air next. Great spirit. Air sign, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What's going on with air for this week? Air sign, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Give us the 411 on air signs. Air signs. Divine intervention. Divine intervention happens this week. Air. Ooh, that just flew out. What? What card is that? Divine intervention happens this week. Um, what's interesting is the want distance flew out. Can we get more clarity on the want distance? Listen, I don't actually think that this is a bad thing. Some of you guys this week may be uh, air signs, may be prioritizing yourself because it is a heavy week for you guys to get lots of downloads. Lots of spiritual downloads, lots of epiphanies, lots of directions, lots of dreams, lots of insights from your own divinations, lots of clues, lots of directions, lots of synchronicities. And I think the want distance is necessarily a negative thing. I think the want distance is, oh, I'm getting so much for myself right now that I can't possibly be focusing on too many people. You could be overstimulated. You could be hypersensitive. You might not want to be in groups of people. You, you know, even if you're talking to an individual, it could be like you're developing this extra new gift where you're um, highly empathic or you're starting to see their energy centers or you're picking up on their past lives or you're very clear on what your contract is with that person. And the want distance could be like, hold on, I need to get a better grasp on this gift. I want some sacred space. And I want to get a better understanding on how I can use this gift on myself so I can best benefit at this current cycle in my life. I do see that. Um, you're not too dissimilar from fire signs, air signs. So I would watch the fire sign reading because you are getting the stringing along and you are getting the want distance. You're going to need to keep some distance from people that are maybe just using you for your energy currency. If you're a person that you go into, a, for example, if you're a person that goes into an empty restaurant with a friend and then all of a sudden you start noticing that people are coming into the restaurant, now the restaurant's lively and thriving. You're a person that brings plenty. You're a person that brings abundance. You're a wealth generator, okay? You're a wealth generator. That's just one of the signs. And so if you're starting to see that people um, are uh, trying to siphon your energy, siphon your wealth, siphon your ideas, siphon just from your presence, or they dump on you, these could be people that you have stringing along, again, get, 
supporting you energetically. Um, and this could, maybe it's not even intentional. Maybe it's just, you know, a, a subconscious thing that they're doing because they don't know how to access their own divine energy. But um, you're going to want to take distance from them. You want to take a cord cutting bath. You're getting the Ace of Cups, so anything with water, uh, cleansing yourself in a body of water, cleansing yourself in a river, cleansing yourself in a lake, in an ocean, in your shower, taking a spiritual baths, all of that is highly recommended. Again, as I mentioned in the prior sign for the air, um, excuse me, fire signs, it is, we are at the end of the uh, year, astrologically, so taking any spiritual baths, we're at the end of the month too, before we enter March, before we enter Aries season, that is highly recommended. You guys are getting the high priestess. High priestess don't be in the streets, okay, honey? High priestess is in her temple. It, it, she's in her divinity, okay? She's not going to bend down to reach to other people. She is going to let the universe bring things to her magnetically because she knows the secrets of the universe and she is a vessel for the communication with the spirit realm, the universal realms. High Priestess means that you are going to be highly sensitive, highly attuned, highly psychic, and highly knowledgeable at this time. Do not underestimate the information that you're getting getting for yourself, even if it comes at the blink of an eye. This isn't a time to second guess yourself. This isn't a time to invalidate your own wisdom. This may not even be a time for you to get readings from other people or rely on other people or just, you know, it's good that you're watching this. Maybe you just needed that reminder. You need to be reading yourself. You need to be at your altars, your shrines, communicating with your spirits, journaling, praying, um, pulling, whatever it is. I don't even think you need that. Checking in with your womb, checking in with your heart, checking in with your ori, and just accessing the answers at that point. Spirit is saying, again, like we mentioned for water signs in the beginning of this video, learn how to ask for what you want. A lot of us are not getting guidance and direction because we just don't know how to ask. We're not asking, okay? And then once you position yourself to ask, position yourself to receive. Don't just ask 50 million questions and be like going on with your day and you forgot about what you asked for. You gotta be positioned you see. You gotta be open to receiving that answer. And as soon as it comes, don't be like, well, I need a louder sign. Cause that wasn't loud enough like get your clue and move on all right this isn't the time to like second guess yourself you are the priestess you are the temple you are the oracle you must conduct yourself as the oracle this week air signs okay this is what is going to bring you favor this is what's going to bring you overflow so your homework for this week air signs is to step into a space where you cannot get it wrong where your intuition cannot fail where everything is, is, is where you trust that the universe is always communicating to you your guides are always communicating to you you can communicate anywhere you want you don't have to do it at your altar you can do it while waiting for the bus you can do it while driving through traffic all right you can do it while washing your ass <laughs> any time is a time to connect with the divine all right somebody quote me any time is the time to connect with the divine because we are all sacred creatures everything is sacred and everything could be a portal opens up right here right in front of your face and boom you're in all right let's not make things hard and so spirit is saying all act answers answers can be easily accessed at this time high priestess is very virgoian energy it really is and so is pisces Right, and so we're we just past the full moon in Virgo. We just passed Pi. We're in Pisces season. Really, this is a time, air signs, to milk that for yourself. So I would even request that you guys create a list of questions that you have about everything. Do a free flow of consciousness and see what you get for yourself. Tune in, check in daily, 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 daily for everything. What food should I eat? What clothes should I be wearing? Where should I go today? How should I go do, do this? How can I amplify my reach with this? What direction should I be taking in this relationship? Da -da 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 -da. What could I do to be attracting more of this in my life? Just ask, okay? This is where you get your favor from, Ace of Pentacles, uh, Ace of Cups. More money is coming to you because I said Ace of Pentacles. But Ace of Cups. The answers are flowing, the miracles are flowing, the love for self is flowing. You're also getting temperance, so that means like 
spirits are already working overtime for you. Things are changing in the background scenery. And um, I think you have the possibility to fire um, air signs. You have the possibility to, for instant transformation, for instant manifestation, for quick, quick changes. As long as you follow your intuition, even if it doesn't make sense to you, follow through on it. Okay? And th this means, you know, distancing yourself a bit. It means prioritizing yourself. You know, High Priestess is listening to her own wisdom. She ain't listening to what everybody else says. She don't care what people believe in. She don't care if everybody's saying the dating pool is horrible, can't nobody, she gonna manifest it either way because she lives in her own reality. She lives in her own realm. And that's what spirit is saying. It's like, you need to flex your spiritual gifts and your talents. And um, temperance is here saying, things are changing in the background already for you. Things are changing as you watch this video right now. Okay, expect those changes. Decide that you're gonna have those changes. Um, and it is yours. Last one is earth signs. Is it earth signs? It is earth signs. So we started with water. We went to fire. We went to air. It's earth signs. Okay. Earth signs, sun, moon, rising, Venus. For this week ahead, Grace Spirit, what do you have to tell earth signs, sun, moon, rising, Venus for this week ahead? I was thinking about a person. Spirits that redo that, child, you're not even focused. My bad. Earth sign, sun, moon, rising, Venus. And there are earth signs too. Look at that. <laughs> earth sign, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Great spirit, what is it that you need to tell them for this week? Let's do the spread. Earth signs. Earth signs. Okay. At least you got one of the same cards. Earth sign, sun, moon, rising, Venus. We're still on that wave of greatness that you guys have laid out week to week to week. Earth signs, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing, earth signs, that is great reading, readings from week to week to week? You're getting the star card. And earth signs, I feel like this is less than highly favored energy. You have someone in the ancestral realms and spirit realms that is watching your every move, answering your every prayer, and really extending themselves um, to help you. Extending your, extending themselves to really make sure you get what you deserve in this timeline. The star is saying you are ready, you are right. If you guys have been holding up on some sort of special gift, a talent, a longing, a desire, it's time to put that out there. It's time to start that YouTube. It's time to start teaching. It's time to open that business. It's time to start speaking up more. It's time to get back out on the market. In whatever way this may relate to you, the star is saying you are gifted. You, you have medicine not only for yourself but for people that need it. And you will be divinely and highly compensated for that. If you're worried about money, don't be worried about money. If you're worried about structure, it's all going to come along. The plan, the system, all of it is going to come along. You're not a foolish person. You're not a whimsical person. But at this point in time, you're kind of being asked to believe in miracles. You're being asked to throw yourself out there. Lead with faith, not by sight, is what I'm hearing. And so for you, Earth signs, the star is saying you're really well supported. There's nothing that you cannot do at this time. Please trust that, you know, even if you're in a conundrum where you don't know how it's going to be resolved, 
Um, don't be in a control mindset. Be in your feminine energy. Flow with the situation. Accept the situation. Pray for intervenient of inter inter venience. ¿Cómo se dice? Intervenience. <laughs> Pray for something to intervene, divine intervention, and uh, position yourself to receive because you are going to be getting it. Um, the star is um, also, you know, for whomever this applies to, you may be networking with high-end people. And it doesn't necessarily mean celebrities. It could be people that are master manifestors, people who hold secrets, universal codes, spirit codes that can instantly upgrade your life. People who hold um, um, gemstones and, 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 and life codes that can upgrade your life. So really pay attention to who comes into your life organically, where your attention goes, what you're watching, what you're reading, where you're feeling called to go to, because I don't think it's in vain. I think it's all being divinely orchestrated. Um, and you're being divinely led. This is a time for you to really step into your legacy, to step into your empire, building an empire. You cannot build it without starting off small. No one starts up from the top. You start up from the very bottom and you must start. And these are for people who are just starting. If you've been on this road, if you've been doing the work, if you've already been putting yourself out there, the emperor is affirming that you are on the right path. But not only that, it's saying that you are going to to be big like people are going to know you people are going to your names are your name is being spoken of in rooms that you are not even aware of by people that you're not aware of of great influence you must also perceive yourself as such as someone who is of great influence as someone who is of great royalty and nobility of great success of great um divine power in conducting yourself as such this is not a time to play small you should do a writing exercise where you are you know what i'm going to actually be doing that hold on pause February 28th, I will be hosting a live, a YouTube live workshop on your inner child. It is live. Okay, you already, you know, like and subscribe to my channel to be notified. Um, but the, the workshop is a precursor to the Art of Sensuality, the mini course that is on sale. Okay, it will be available. The free workshop will be available until the end of March 1st. Then it's going to be featured as a bonus in the Art of Sensuality Deluxe. You can get that on March until March 1st on sale. Then it goes back to its original price. But what I was communicating is this mini course on your inner child is a precursor to the Art of Sensuality because uh, we can't be our softest, most vulnerable, artistic, free self without communicating and connecting to our inner child. And so if we do not know the ways in which our little, little inner child needs healing, needs to be seen, needs to be heard, needs to be felt, you know, where it is necessarily playing small, then how can we open ourselves up to the wonders and the splendors of the soft life? And so what the emperor is saying, you cannot allow yourself to play small. If you want to discover the areas in your life, earth signs or any other signs that are watching this, if you want to discover the areas in your life in which you're playing small, attend my free workshop and also take my art of sensuality class. It's only half off, 50% off. You're only going to get that this year during this time, no other time. But um, the emperor is really a well-experienced divine masculine container who has support is going to support you in your divine feminine your artistic self your uh your ability to receive to surrender and to flow with the laws of the universe and the benevolence of the universe i do see great success for you earth signs with the four of wands 
This could be marriage up ahead. This could be expansion in the family. It could be a massive expansion in income, new home, new lifestyle, new upgrade, new friends and communities that are in alignment with this new season and this new timeline. Um, as you're leveling up, as you're embodying this um, new empire, you need a fortress. You need a mansion. I see all of this coming for you. Not maybe in the literal sense, and maybe not in the literal sense. But this is being. This is this energy is speaking of being around people of influence. You never know who you will come across that will be that stepping stone that will help you catapult you to the next level of your life. Whether it's an actual spirit, whether it's an actual person, I think it's both. You. Um, Continue to do your spiritual work. Continue to do your emotional work. But it's here for you guys. Earth signs, excuse me. I got a lot of energy through the throat. So a lot of it is channeling. I do feel like you guys, earth signs, are giving yourself permission to channel. To channel divine wisdom. To channel divine arts. To channel new music. New writing. Um, new, new businesses. New designs new energy, new energy systems. So really put that out there. Um, I'm not even so concerned about, I mean, of course you need structure, you need regulation, you need a system that is efficient, that is going to help all your creative energy thrive. But I think you're going to be receiving that in divine timing. You're gonna meet the right people, the right places, the right resources. You're gonna, it's gonna be like soul family. This whole energy is speaking deeply about soul family. Now, your oracle cards from the Urzuli Freida Love Oracle deck. Close your legs. So, this is literal and also it's metaphorical. You're not for everybody. The emperor does not, <laughs> the emperor no longer goes to the corner store, unfortunately. He probably has, like, what's that big, bougie, freaking fancy LA Whole Foods? I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce it. It starts with the E. Wrong, 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 wrong. That shit is expensive. But you know, that's very much up the emperor's alley. And he started off with the corner stores. Ain't nothing wrong with the corner stores. He loves him some corner stores. But he knows if he goes to the corner stores, he's not going to find the quality of food. And the types of food that he likes, right? So, you are of quality. You should always see yourself as quality. And that means close your energetic legs. Don't be offering yourself to people. Don't be putting yourself in the same place as people that you feel is not going to see or honor or respect your worth and your, and your value. Okay? And this can also mean literal. A lot of this could be a lot of you guys are meeting your soulmate real soon. And you might have a lot of contenders, whether it be male, female, non-binary. You could be meeting your soulmate and that person that you're going to lock it in with. And if that is your desire, you want to be with somebody for the rest of your life, that one person, that is coming around the corner. And so Spirit is like, don't be testing people out by sleeping around with anybody, even though there's not a problem. If you guys do that, I'm not shaming you. But the energy here is sacred. It is... Um, I'm not for everybody. You need to prove your worth if you want to enter access to the temple. Divine, highly favored, and chosen. This is my temple. Oh, word. You can pay the toll. You've proven yourself. Okay? You, bring, you come with legacy so that we can combine our legacies and empires together. And boom, 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 boom. Close your legs. Because why? Lawyer lover is coming. Okay, so this could mean an actual person that is dedicated for you, that that has proven themselves worthy, that um, it can provide in all the ways, um, romantically, but also biz the ideal business partner. Don't just be offering yourself to everybody that just throws you a cookie. Okay, don't be just spreading your business news to everybody because you just want to be heard. Scott, you'll know the energy, you'll know the vibes, you can't miss it, it's going to be right in front of your face. Don't get desperate now. You think, oh my God, it's not here, it's not here, it's not here yet. Spirit is saying everything is being answered. Every, everything is coming to you. You don't have to come to it. Don't worry about it. So, again, please take advantage of the art of sensuality. The deal and the sale of 50% off ends on the end of March 
first, okay, that's the last time I'm offering a sale, it goes back to its original price. You get lifetime access to all of the modules and the bonus and any upgrades that I add onto it. And honey, to get, get, we all need the art essentiality at this time, all right? Again, meet me here Wednesday, February 28th for the free inner child workshop. Come with your journal, come with a pen, come with a drink of water and come cozy, okay? We're gonna be peeling the layers, we're gonna be exploring, we're gonna be playing with our inner child. And again, you wanna come at that time because it's not gonna be accessible. The replay will not be up for long. It's gonna be accessible in the art of sensuality as part of the bonus course. So I will see y'all on Wednesday. And um, of course, let me know your vibes. I love you guys eternally. Much love. Appreciate you deep. See y'all next week.